We're going to put some things inside of our life, metaphorically, all right? And if you don't know what a metaphor is, just wait till about 8th grade, ninth grade. <laughs> the English teacher will tell you what it is. <clears throat> We're going to take some things in our life, metaphorically, just put them in our fists and hold on to them tonight, all right? And uh, if we could, we could pray a prayer. There's this amazing prayer that David prayed in the book of Psalms. He said, God, search me and know me. See if there's any iniquity in me, if there's any, any bad things in me, any evil. Anything that you, God, see inside of my life that you don't like, just search me and know me. And, and whatever, you, whatever you find, show me that I may pray for forgiveness, that you may cleanse me, you may wash me, you may just cleanse me of all my unrighteousness. I'd like for us to do that. Whatever God shows us, I mean, just silently, right in your mind. Just go ahead and close your eyes. Just say, God, search me. Search me. Whatever he's showing you right now, just, just take it mentally. Just take those things and, and, and put it in your fist. Whatever. If it's, it's, maybe it's a sin. Maybe it's uh, something that God's asking you to do that you're not doing. Maybe it's uh, God's asking you to just branch out and do something that, uh, that you've just been unwilling to do. Whatever it is, just take it, hold on to it, put it in your fist tonight. Now, let's... let's not only those things, let's transition to some other things. Like whatever things in your life that you need. When if you were to pray to God and you come to him with personal needs and personal things. Some of you in the room tonight need a job and you know, take that, put it in your fist and hold on to it. Some of you guys are going through relationship troubles and you know, and you're hurting. And uh, take it, put it in your fist, hold on to it tonight. Some of you guys feel lonely, maybe you uh, struggle with cutting yourself or uh, suicidal thoughts or depression. Take that tonight. Hold on to it. Squeeze it. Put it right there in your fist, right in front of you. To let it go. Maybe some other kind of addiction that you're struggling with tonight. And you're like, you know, man, I just, I feel like, I don't know why I'm struggling with this. It's not always been that way. But it's true. I'm struggling with it. And I, I don't want to be this type of person. I don't want to be addicted. But I am. I need God to help me. If that's you, take it. Put it in your fist right now. Now let's transition to something else. If, if you were to have a prayer request for somebody else, that's not about you. Somebody that you love, whatever it may be, maybe they're going through a hard time. Maybe some of those things we just mentioned. I want you to put them in their fists, as, in your fist tonight as well. If they need healing, if they need restoration in their life. Here's what we're going to do. All those things, the things that God shows us that, that we're going to let go of, the things that God shows us that we're going to let him wash us up tonight. Those things, our personal needs, and the needs of those around us that we love. We're holding on to them. We're grasping our fist. We're going to sing a song tonight called Yesterday is Over. And in this song, there's this line of the song that says that we love to hold on to everything. <clears throat> but the very next line of the song says, I want you to, instead of holding on, I want you to open up your hands, let go, and give it to Jesus tonight. So all those things, no matter how big they are, all fit nice and neatly in your fist. Whenever that line of the song happens, I want you to take your fist. I want you to open it up. I want you to give every single one of those things to Jesus tonight, all right? We're going to all do it together. This song's called Yesterday is Over.